Hi everyone and welcome back. So here's something over engineered and different. A pen stand or holder made completely from PCBs and 3D printed parts. The goal was to create a pen stand that was entirely different from the typical pen stand. It would have a number of features such as a room temperature and humidity meter, an onboard light for aesthetic and illumination, a USB port that could support 5V to power various devices including smartphones. Version 1 of the pen stand I constructed last year was large and heavy. Version 2 is more compact and has additional ESP8266 setup that is connected to an SSD1306 OLED display and an AHT10 sensor. This setup is a pen holder that measures temperature and humidity in room and show the data on the SSD1306 display to keep us informed about the current room temperature. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how this device was created and how you can make it in few easy steps. So let's get started with the build. First, the 3D model was created in Fusion 360 and it consists of four identically sized rectangular board arranged in a cuboid shape. To hold these PCBs together, we designed two inside holder with screw mounting holes. We will add screws to keep PCBs connected to the internal holder. The internal holders are located on the both top and bottom side of the pen stand. The bottom holder acts as a lid. The display, the ESP configuration and AHT10 sensor will be located on the front PCB, while the lithium cell and power management IC arrangement will be located on the bottom side PCB. In Fusion 360, we export the DWG file of the PCB which will be used in PCBCAD software to create the outline of this project. The first step in PCB design is to create a total of three different boards. The power management board which houses the IP5306 IC with lithium cell, the side PCB which only act as a connection board to connect the front PCB's VCC and ground to the power management board and the third front board, which include an ESP12F setup with an SSD1306 display and an AHT10 sensor. The power management board consists of an IP5306 IC with all the necessary parts such as input and output capacitors and inductors, LEDs, etc. The battery has an 18650 SMD holder footprint added. We use a Type-C connector for power in. Moreover, 10 red LEDs were added in parallel using 1206 register with the IP5306 5V and there's a push button between the 5V and positive of the LED. After the power board schematic is completed, we use the DWG file exported from the Fusion 360 to create the PCB outline and add all the components to the board. We place the LEDs on the bottom side of PCB and the IP5306 IC components including the battery holder were all added on the top side of the PCB as the top side will face outward. LED will be placed inside the pen holder to illuminate the entire assembly from the inside. As the ESP12F is a 3.3 volt device and 5 volt will damage the MCU, we added an AMS1117 voltage regulator setup to step down the 5 volt to 3.3 volt for ESP to function. Next, we prepare the front PCB, which is the ESP12F setup connected to SSD1306 OLED and AHT sensor. Both of the display and AHT10 sensor are powered by 5 volt. The same DWG file is used to create outline for this board as well. AHT10 is added on the one side, and the ESP12 is added below the display in the middle. The third board, which is the side PCB, will be empty and without any ports or connecting pad. But we have added a CON1 port with PCB traces linked to them to extend 5 volt and ground from one side of the board to other. In addition to serving this purpose, the side PCB has patterns and a solder mask opening on both sides that will allow light from LEDs to pass through. After completing all the three PCB design, we export their Gerber data and send them to PCBWay for samples. Three order were placed for the red solder mask and white cell screen. After placing the order, I received the PCBs within a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. The cell screen that I use is completely random and asymmetrical in the side PCB and it is pretty hard to make. But they did an awesome job of making this PCB with no error whatsoever. You guys can check out PCB if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and high quality. 
we begin the front temperature and humidity PCB assembly process which required the use of two soldering technique because it involved both SMD and THD components. We first apply the solder paste to each component SMD pad using a solder paste dispensing needle. Next, we pick and place all the SMD component in their place using an ESD tweezer. Following the pick and place process, the PCB is carefully lifted and placed on the SMT reflow hot plate, which heats the PCB from below up to the solder paste melting temperature, permanently soldering all the components to their pads. We gather all the THT components including the OLED display and the AH10 sensor module and position them on their pad and then solder their pad using a standard soldering iron. Next, we begin the power management board assembly which follows a process that was identical to the one we used to create the front PCB. We first add the solder paste to each SMD component pad and then use the ESD tweezer. We pick and place arrange all the SMD component in their position. The PCB is then placed on the SMT hot plate where it is reflowed and all the SMD components are soldered to their pads. The remaining TST part include the 5mm TST LED, push button, USB port and push on and off switch are then added. The entire system is powered by a 3.7 volt 2900mAh 18650 lithium cell battery and the ESP12F and OLED are powered by a reliable 5 volt output from the IP5306 power management IC. We insert the 18650 cell in its holder by confirming the polarity and then we use a multimeter to measure the output voltage which should be 5 volt. This confirms that the setup is functioning. You might not aware that any ESP board can be programmed by using a simple Node MCU board. By taking the Node MCU board and connecting a jumper with its ground pin and enable pin, which puts the onboard ESP8266 of the Node MCU into sleep mode, and we may utilize the Node MCU to program the external ESP12F module. This enables us to connect an external ESP board to the Node MCU. So essentially, we are turning off the ESP board of the Node MCU and connecting a second ESP board to few of its pin. I've created a video about this process, which you can check out on my channel. The code and other details can be downloaded from this project page, which are in the video description. The final assembly process begins by first gathering all the four boards, the bottom lid and the 3D printed holder together. We begin by using M2 screws to attach the front PCB to the 3D printed lid before adding the back PCB and then the 3D printed holder on the top side. We then install side panels using the same M2 screws. After completing the mechanical assembly, we link the power management board positive and negative terminal to the side PCB using jumper leads. Then the positive and negative terminals of the side PCB are connected to the front PCB using the same jumper leads. The project is now completed. This project's final result is an over-engineered pen stand holder with an ESP12F setup at front side with an OLED screen and an ASC10 sensor for monitoring room temperature and humidity along with a red light that lights up the entire thing. This project was a follow-up to my earlier pen holder project, which was also made entirely of PCB. Ultimately, this project demonstrates the FR4 material may be used to create body parts in addition to electronics. Thanks for getting this far and please leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project. Check out this project's previous version video. Thanks to PCBPA for their support and dedication to the advanced technology. We invite you to visit their website at pcbway.com to learn more about their services and how they can help you to bring your project to life. Thanks again and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.